tell the guys to get a change. Here comes Pavlos on the backhand. Good opportunity. Obviously, big flat move set. Mermini's just come in yeah. last weekend. Comes as Keeman as that injury cover for Ben Howardchalk, who's obviously been put on that injured reserve. I quite like him, Laura, to be honest with you. I thought at the weekend he had a couple of, he had, uh, certainly had a good game in my opinion. I thought he played quite well, but just arrived anyway. And I think he's a cracking signing, being, you know, yeah, if, he'd, yeah. if he'd signed at the beginning of the season, I'd be happy with him. Barley's coming in as an injury cover, do you know what I mean? And I think he's got potential to really prove himself in this league. And, you know, he's an older guy, he's an experienced guy, you know, a Latvian internationalist, so. What, great, ha what, great happens Lord, what happens, well, that if, if once the ninja player's back, can they can we decide, or is the rules that you've got to have the injured guy back in? The fact that he's a covered guy. Well, I think at the, at the, you know they're allowed to make that change for the, the extra input to come in to be used. Oh, oh nice wee tip in there. He's just managed to redirect it past Owen as he was going to the right hand side. Canella got his stick down. He's put it past Owen on his left. And Guilford take a one 0 lead. He just yeah. broke down over that far side of the boards. He's got his head up. He's seen Cronella heading towards net. Cronella yeah, just stretches out that yeah, stick, sticks it past Owen. Nice opening for uh, it. Start from the from Covenant Blaze. It was Ferguson with the pass. Just seen his, his, his line mate there on the left wing, just going across, making him sure that body was going towards you know, the hash marks. Yeah. Good to see, though, that fans have turned out. Yeah, Not exactly. the biggest crowd, obviously, that you know you can't expect too much with it being midweek. And, you know, a lot of kids and stuff going to school tomorrow and we've got some clubs and classes. An opportunity again. Oh, goal. good goal. Good goal. Two quick fire goals here from the Guildford Flames. They came across to this near side. There was a GB tic tac toe between the two of them as they came forward. It was initially passed across to the centre of Minma Dice. Give it back to him. He's put it high yeah, past right Owen for a 2 0 lead. Yeah, yeah 2 0. Yeah, not the start of the flyers will be what I could see you in the doors, but. Credit to Guildford, two good goals. Yeah, badge off the scorer there. And to see as well there, Pilkins playing in the, in the face off dot there instead of Colin Shirley on this line for Flyers. So maybe a wee change in the, in the, in the tactics there from the Flyers. Oh! oh, it's in! No, it's not! Is it? It's in! It is eventually! I thought it went in the right, yeah, so did I. I thought it went in a fin uh, initially off the, the net and came back out and ended up towards the play. We'll see it now from behind the goal. Came across first time, it's so, it had to keep off a leg, so it was still out. And then eventually went over the line there. I think it would be Max Humitz that will be given the goal. Came off of Hulkenen's leg in front of the net from the initial shot. Well, there was a crowd of players and then Humitz manages to get it over the line. Far yeah, side smart play there, Pablo. Yeah, just throw it in the opposite corner. A stick loose at the side of the net here. Giles is another one. He's back in the offensive zone that we kept in at the blue by Pavlos. Oh, the wind yeah, up there. I thought he was very cool, Trigger. Barry Patol just tries to shoot towards them, but comes off a player in front. And oh, big hit, big uh, hit. He's had a few, Brady Patol, tonight. He's <laughs> It's not, do you know what? We've not seen too much no, of that we'll side have, of him we'll this have. season, and it's good to see him a bit more physical out there. Yeah. Glover now deep in the corner up against Max Schumitz as he's trying to shove the flames forward. Hulkin can quite get to that before Locke did, so. Go for the game possession. He was looking for McParland, but the pass come off of Humitz's stick, so it goes back to the defenseman again. 3.20 to go in the first period. Here comes Tate with that speed all alone in the zone. Good save by Owen. Yeah, Tries to go forehand, great backhand yeah. there. He found a lot of time and space up the middle there, did Ryan Tate. Yeah, good job working in there, Shadow. They just trying to get the puck out and get away from the corner. Tate is putting a bit of pressure on here. Go for the track to close us down quickly. Osterberg done well there, controlled the puck. Gets past the shoulder, has got a Oh, good okay. save, good save. Flyers go close there, certainly a good opportunity here to start the second period. We'll see when you get the double penalty. The first penalty is crucial to right down, so. Coming around the front, good save Owen again, just looking that way with his stick as Fife managed to clear it out. Yeah, Lajanes done a good job there just to make sure that it did cross that blue line and make sure that Flames had to come all the way back. He plays it back into the corner looking for Ericsson. Oh! oh unfortunate there is Antoine yeah. Ericsson did connect with that and then it came off of the flames. Was, I think it was Clemex's stick there after that. Antoine Ericsson certainly got a piece of that though to try and redirect it towards net. 
you know, a, a good centreman out there for that team, used in all different positions. A role model for the younger guys as well. Here come McParland as he controls it, but they are. Oh, he manages to get that into his glove yeah. and out. McParland and Brady Pato having a wee bit of shove. Well, the current situation in defence for Flyers, I think Brady Pato's going to be reluctant to get involved yeah, too much yeah. there. He can't yeah. afford to be sitting in the penalty box when we're already short. It's one of those players stick down on the ice waiting on the pass. And, Give me the puck, let me see what I can do, kind of thing. He's, yeah. he's always eager, he's always willing. Lewis Hook now comes across to the sink. He throws one across the far side, goes all the way through. Well, we've got to be careful here. Oh, oh good goal. What a good nice goal. finish. Yeah, good goal. It's Cronella. He just held off, came past one, held off, came past the second. And fires a shot past Shane Owen for a 3-1 lead to the Guildford Flames. Yeah, and you're always told as the kids that the guy shouldn't have come out to the corner with a puck and he certainly did a good job coming out there, beating a couple of players with Laura said, and then just finding the net. Good goal. Yeah, he just stepped inside Lajeunesse, stepped inside the Roche. Oh, Time and goal. space good and goal. fires past Owen. Really nice finish there from Cronella. Into the zone. Gets one of the lethal on the stick as it was sticked away by McAdam. Under to Tate. We've got backdoor option. Well, Find good it. Well, good, good save. save. Good save. Nice save by Shane Owen. Gets right across. A chase save at the back door to deny Guilford an early goal yeah, here in this period. The Flyers are going to see their first power play of the night. Giles will come away for it for Fife. Finds Troy Lagnes on the far side. He'll try and use his speed of his. Comes up against Climax. He's shoved out of the way of him. Finds Osterberg with a pass. This is an opportunity now where Flyers just need to set up. Get some possession. Use that extra skater and make Flames with the, do yeah, the hard just, work. Go get somebody in front of here and take a chance, take a shot. I mean, the keeper's really saved him if we're going to get three of them all the time. Really just, I mean, credit to Gelford. I mean, they've done it sexually well here in this penalty kill with 25 seconds to go in the penalty. So, certainly Paul Dixon will be the happier with the two coaches and now. But Fife's really got to get up here, set up, try and get a play. Lajeunesse comes past one. Oh, lucky. Good save. Really Good nice save. save. Yeah. yeah, just stepped inside lock there. Let go of the shot and then safely into McAdams' glove. You know, that's what, that's what he needs as well, being there. Just somebody to step yeah. up and go for it. Do you know right. what I mean? Just take the game by the sort of scruff of the neck and go, right, let's do something about this. Let's get ourselves into this. Tate now. Turns back, finds Glover, gets a return pass, comes to the Londe, goes over that far side now. Yeah, Guilford just trying to set up here, Laura, just taking the time, moving it around, making the time to work. Yeah, just taking advantage of that extra skater, as we say. Shot oh, through traffic, comes Owen. off Owen's shoulder, and yes, again. Owen saved again, two saves there. Oh, unlucky, just unlucky. Another save from Owen, but it's not clear yet. As he hits the crossbar oh, there, crossbar. the flames forward. It was Glover with the chance to come off the crossbar. 30 seconds left on the power play opportunity for Flames. Imagine Esther well there. Just came off his skate. He managed to turn round and clear the zone past Lalonde. That will allow the guys to get a change. An important one with just 20 seconds left on the power play. Forward to Brickler. He drops it off to Griffiths. It's a back to oh, the Oh, of a shot there. Yeah. Wow, he <laughs> got that. Ripley Garb was yeah, trying to get out of the way as that quick as he could there. <laughs> he kind of seen it coming yeah, at the last know. second and threw his body out of the way. It's one of these ones that's sweet when it comes off your stick like that. It oh, just comes back to the Londay. He just told that he quickly anyway. jumped out of <laughs> the way there. Ripley Garb and just lost the edge as he landed back on his skates. Yeah, it's kind of fair off for him as well, to be honest, because they've obviously got fresh legs on there. Closing the three one up, you could take that wee bit gamble. Nice play coming up. Oh, wow. Oh, off the post, I think they're being this good block in front there by Brady Pato. Anton Eriksson now will come and, through the other way. And he felt that. Yes, he felt that block out there. He, he, 
find Schumitz with a pass and he gets head up Colin Shirley's over this side but instead he takes it into the zone himself Pulkinder now steps back inside good bad oh, save, save there. Pulkinder's trying like an absolute bear yeah, out the middle pass here is that hook yeah great interception there yeah you're right he was, he was desperate to try to get up there but unfortunately to no avail Pulkinder steps across and that will see the buzzer sound so the end of the game here the first leg of the Challenge Cup sees the Guildford Flames have a 3-1 lead over the five Flyers so Flyers will go down to Guildford next Wednesday night and they're trying to obviously turn over the deficit of two goals and have a tight game and go from there and, and hope for the best